Western Spain Television. Ours it is. Hello, good afternoon, our viewers. Happy Sunday and welcome to your darling program, darling Christian program, Issues in Christendom, coming to you live on Western Spring Television, channel 190 on Star Times. Do follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, and X at Western Spring Television. You can also watch us live on our YouTube channel, at Western Spring Television. I am Pastor Steve Akinwumi, your host. This afternoon, we'd like to bring on board a conversation that is quite needful uh, everywhere, family level, community level, workplace, and even church at large. It has to do with the issue of correction. Today we're looking at the, 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 the topic, the principles of correction. Because we need to find out what the Bible's prescription on correction. The person correcting, the person being corrected, and the process of correction. And ultimately, what is the benefit or the goal, the main essence of correction joining this afternoon this conversation today is no other person but pastor Oluwa Adedotun. good afternoon pastor and welcome today good afternoon sir i like your outfit well, thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much it's english <laughs> where you are looking uh i'm looking africa africa <laughs> that's what yeah, are you doing? Yeah. so pastor you're welcome um on the issue of correction. Okay. Second Timothy 3.16 talks about that all scripture is mm. given by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and is profitable for correction, for reproof, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished, lacking nothing. Now, on this, in this context here, it's not just man of God, mm. but a child of God yeah. may be thoroughly equipped, mm. furnished, yeah. as he allows God's word to correct, rebuke, and reprove him. I want to ask you, Pastor, what is correction in biblical palace, and why is it needful? In our lives. Well, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, correction is a pathway to restoration mm. and is a means of guiding ones or, or retrieving one from committing mm. a grievous error. So, and mm. we, we see correction right from mm. the Garden of Eden. Mm. When man fell, mm. God God mm. came to the Garden mm. of Eden mm. to put things aright, to set things aright. Mm. But the, the uh, people in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, they disappointed mm. because they shifted the blame when mm. why God was trying to bring correction to mm -hmm. correct them mm -hmm. to the abnormalities mm -hmm. and to the errors. Actually, mm. they were the one at fault. Mm -hmm. No. Where are thou? No, they were hidden and they said, because they are naked. Who told you you are naked? This and that. Have you done this and that? And they started making blame. And another uh, area aspect whereby correction also, we saw that it is also neglected. The first, second correction, a new attempt of correcting someone in the Bible wasn't a successful one. Hmm. Another person was Cain. Hmm. You know, why, why, are you, why are you sorrowful? Why are you downcasted? If you have done well, your sacrifice will be acceptable. Mm. Since light at the door, do not allow it to take over or rule over your heart. Mm. But we discover that with all this, yet, this man went ahead to kill his brother. They be, okay, you accepted the suffering. He's your favorite, Abby. Then I will kill your favorite. I will take your favorite away. That, is what, that was the meaning. Mm. 
So when we said correction uh, is a uh, is a word that is so, and that is uh, in the book of Proverbs chapter twelve verse one says, "He who hates correction is stupid." Mm. I just like it's in an NIV version. Mm. He said uh, Proverbs twelve verse one. Okay. He said, "He who he who rebuke, he who reject correction is mm. stupid." Mm. Just like that, mm. you know, to tell you how grievous it is, because uh, and again correction. Uh, we have several means whereby correction can come. Mm. One is the word of the Lord. Mm. Whenever, don't be like, I love the, the analogy that Apostle Paul used. He mm. said that he who behold his face in the mirror and walk away. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's like those who he listen to the word of the mm. Lord and they will tell you that what will the Lord, word of the Lord correct in my life? Mm. That we are beyond that. We have done mm. theology. Mm. In fact, we even have PhD in theology. Some will tell you that we are born in the church. What else will they preach again? Mm. So if we come with a rigid act before the Lord, it's mm. a problem. Mm. There is no way the word of the... And that is why, sir, a lot of people kept hearing the word every Sunday, Bible study. It is because they have already, like you said, mm. the passage I was read, that the word of the Lord is meant for correction, for rebook, that mm -hmm. a man, even every children of God, may be mm. thoroughly furnished, mm. equipped, and make perfect. Mm. So... Uh, how open are we to the word of the Lord? Mm. And I do say that uh, the people that the word of the Lord could not correct, hardly can God correct such. No. The people that the word of the Lord could not correct, hardly can a friend or colleague correct such. Mm. So I think the fundamental basis is that when we are open to the word of the Lord, we are not saying that you are perfect. We are not saying that you are already at the peak, at the height. Mm. But what we are telling you is that man can hear. And when man hear, when man make mistake. Uh, we, we need people around us. The reason why many people refrain, and that is why I keep on praying to God as I'm growing in ministry, as I'm going as a family man, that people will not be silent to, to correct me. Mm. Because most often you see, it's as a dangerous the, it's, it's, place it's a, to be. A, exactly, in sir. Life. A, exactly, sir. That is the realm that when is so dangerous. People have, when people shut down, mm. yes, correcting sir. you. Exactly, sir. You see, that was the place solomon got to mm, yeah now the problem of solomon then wasn't that he multiplied wives <laughs> mm. was the problem was that he married women that were alien to the commonwealth of history Israel. so they were brought into the palace and into the nation foreign gods mm. that was the issue you know in the old testament polygamy was just a normal thing just normal yeah uh, david was a polygamist yeah, and yeah, was man right. after god's heart you're right but you see for solomon these women were strange women introducing idolatry mm. into israel which is against the law that god gave to them the solomon surrounded himself with people that could not talk to him talk to him and that was mm. why it led to self-destruction even his son Rehope was the same thing. Mm. So when you mentioned, I just remember the fact that wow. it's a dangerous place for anybody, anybody to, be to be when people keep quiet, wow. no longer advise, no longer rebuke, no mm. longer correct you. Mm. That person is on his way to destruction. That's wow. the truth. Wow. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. You know, and you see, you know. Even for when, 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 we, when we look at um, scriptures, Malachi is the last book yeah. in the Old Testament. Yeah. Between Malachi and Matthew, there's a gap of 400 years mm, yes. of silence. Mm. Why was God silent? Mm. God became silent because the people stopped heeding to the prophetic voices. Mm. What is it that they want to hear that they have not heard? Uh, he gave them major prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah. They even kill some of them. Mm. He gave them minor prophets in quotes. Mm. Osia, Abakuk, Agai. They prophesied the same to same. them. Mm. But the people weren't going to listen and mm. heed correction. As a matter of fact, the reason why Israel went to captivity was because they rejected correction. correction. It's important to see mm. at this junction that making mistake 
is human. It's human. Definitely. All human yeah. is bound to make mistake. Everybody to a eh, is human. human. There's nobody above mistakes. That's the truth. No matter how smart, no mm. matter how educated, yeah. no matter how intelligent, no matter how spiritual you claim mm. to be, you will make mistake. Mm. Why was the sin of David forgiven? And that of Saul was retained. For me, when you look at it, it looks like the sin of Saul, David, is even worse. Yeah, you're right. It's more grievous. You, you committed adultery with mm. somebody else's wife. Mm. You yeah. set the man up, killed the man. A righteous man for that And man. you took the man's right. wife and became your wife. No remorse. Mm. Ah, that was terrible. Mm. But then as terrible as the sin and the mistake of David was, mm. he was open to correction. But in the case of Saul, Saul was defensive. Mm. Saul was explaining why he did what he did. Each time you are confronted, mm. and your, your immediate response shouldn't be a defense. Rather, okay, I was okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the way to go. So we all don't say that, oh, is it because I made mistakes? No, everybody will make mistakes. The person correcting has made mistakes, will make further mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody is above mistakes as nobody is above law. Yeah. But we are talking about proper response to correction. Mm. So, Pastor, you've defined for us what correction is all about and the, the importance of correction in our lives. And that nobody should get to that point where people keep quiet on you. Mm, yes, sir. It's a place of destruction. Yeah. Let's examine the man or the woman corrected. Okay. How should he or she go about correcting somebody else who made mistake? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. I think before uh, responding to that, okay. I, I think let me just briefly discuss because it's also... It's like A and B, yes, a twin going together. That is, what is the purpose of correction? Okay. So that the purpose of correction will not tell how okay. the person that wants to correct That's right. will correct. That's now, right. when you see some people after, uh, after uh, the, at poor, all that is in their mind, you see that they walk away. Mm. That you know that such person has not come to correct. Mm. But to condemn. But to condemn. Thank you, sir. So I think if the purpose, the first purpose of correction is restoration. Mm. You want to restore a brother. You want to restore a sister. Or you want to restore a father or a mother. That is number one priority. Mm. And if we have this in our mind, it will affect the process which we will follow or which we will go by, which we will navigate through mm. in order to make sure the correction takes place mm. and secondly from the text that was read second timothy 3 season to something that this is to prepare to furnish to equip mm. so if correction did not achieve all this then correction hasn't taken place mm. and another another purpose i think is which i love which is the latter part in verse 17 says that that we may be made perfect mm -hmm. because we are, we, one so that we, yes, so that we can become, you know, sometimes there are some things, that some people have corrected us in the time past and we yielded. And when people see us today, they look as if, and we look as if we are perfect. We look perfect. We look perfect, but they don't know that <laughs> this perfection you journey. see, it was a journey. Cut and so. Cut and, that's <laughs> it. That, no, there are times they will tell you that, oh, when you saw Robert, you don't talk that day. Mm -hmm. They will tell you that, ah, no, you don't shout. You tell you that, no, there are several things that there are some work, a lot of workings that has happened in our lives yeah. so that now we now look perfect. People now envy us. They want to be like us. They mm -hmm. want to, be, but they don't know. And that is one of the, and that is why we must make a follower to realize that it's a journey. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you are a failure. Mm -hmm. And now the process, uh, I think Galatians chapter six verse one, mm -hmm. uh, also buttress more on that. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I just let me okay, look at the text. But as we are looking at that. One of the processes that we should do it with 
uh, we should do it reverently. Mm. Reverently. Mm. Though we still come to that, but let me just, uh, that of Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Mm. Now, I read, Brothers and sisters, if mm. someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person mm. gently. Mm. But watch yourself, or you also may be tempted. Mm. I love this. That mm. is, it should be done gently. Mm. Most of the time, the people we, 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 we want to correct, the way we do it at times, we worsen the situation. Mm. Because what we have in mind is not actually actualized. Mm. It's not does not manifest. Mm. You want the person to yield. You want the person to see his fault. Mm. You want the person to become a better person in the society or in the organization. But at long run, you discover that because we are too harsh, because we are too arrogant. I love the way mm. Timothy, mm. Uh, when Paul admonishes uh, Timothy, mm. that he should be aware. He mm. should not rebuke. Mm. You know, part of correction, only that one is one is sober, mm -hmm. one is gentle, mm. and one is ash. Mm. So the Greek word they use there, it means sharp rebuke. Mm. That was what uh, Apostle Paul told Peter, uh, Timothy, that uh, make sure that you don't rebuke elders. Not that you shouldn't correct them, mm. but what is correcting is uh, the impression is saying, you know, those who live in that era, they understood it very well because of gap in language. So people may not understand. And that's why you see me, a lot of people, he will tell you that, ah, it's my father. And the scripture has said that uh, we should not rebook. Mm -mm, you don't understand the scripture. That is misinterpretation of the scripture. Mm. What it means is that when you see an elderly man that did something, he said, do you know, if you want to correct them, correct them as the father. And if he's a mother, an elderly he woman. Use the word entreat. Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, sir. In, in fact, he said, correct him as a mother. And if he's a brother, correct him. And if, he's a, if there are younger ones, correct him as a brother. Now, what is he trying to say? Is that, that is, be mindful of the word. You don't tell an elderly man that commits a brother. I don't know how grievous the error may be for a young person to say, you are idiots. You are, you are a 30-year-old, even 40-year-old, speaking to a 70 or 60-year-old man, telling him, you are idiots. Are you blind? Mm. Uh, no, are, are you not sensible enough? Those language, derogative language, is what Paul is telling Paul not to use. Don't use harsh words on them. If you want let, to, let, let me let me read the the amplified version. Oh, thank you, sir. Of that scripture. Okay, sir. Um, that you're talking about. That's First Timothy five. Yes, sir. Verse one. It says, "Do not sharply mm -hmm. censure or rebuke an older man, but entreat mm -hmm. and plead with him." Mm -hmm. You would with a father. Wow. Treat younger men like brothers. Like brothers. Thank you very much. So mm -hmm. I just so that is just the busy. You no, know, some people they tell you that, and that is how to go about. You know, that some you know, you use your discretion. There are some things you use your discretion, even anointing or being a boss. You can be the boss and your subordinate may be may be older than you in age. Don't sit, don't, don't abuse that, that position or that privilege or that anointing. You know, just imagine um, at workplace, yeah. you are at an executive position and then you have an official car and a driver attached. Mm. And then this driver is older, possibly your father's age. Mm. You know, made a mistake at work. There is a way to talk to that brother. Yeah. And there is a way to talk to him. There's a way to rebuke him as though he's yes. younger. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you see, there is also a way you can talk to an elderly person. This may be a bit sharp. And that person may not grow old as well. Mm. Wow. That's it. It's, it's principle. It's principle. So it's important. That's why correction flows well, pari pasu, with the spirit of wisdom. Mm, yes, sir. If you don't have wisdom, you cannot correct. You cannot correct. Mm. A foolish person cannot correct somebody. Mm. Oh, my dad, we will 
you mess the whole thing up. And that's not the essence of correction. Like you rightly said, restoration is the ultimate goal. Improvement in mm. that person's life yes, is the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal. Yeah. And nobody, nobody, nobody becomes the best version of himself without correction. Yes, sir. True. Yeah. We all are product of correction. Mm. In fact, I loved, and that is why at times, what you just said now, I remember whenever I preach, I always, sometimes I ask my wife, why is he preaching? Yeah. You know, at times we should, when people are not correcting us, mm -hmm. let us make, mm -hmm. let us make. We can have intentional can, relationship like thank that. Thank you, sir. We, we, we can create an environment, an atmosphere where you. Accountable relationship. Thank you, sir. Where you, like. There was a day, like I think about two or three Sundays ago, after preaching, there was a senior colleague, senior, far, far senior colleague. Some have been in ministry for 15, you know, 20, 30 years, you know, he's a senior colleague. Mm -hmm. And I just called him. And he told me that, oh, you did very well, Pastor, something, something like that. And after, I just insisted that because it is a privilege to have him around that day. Mm -hmm. And I told him that, you are under the sermon, please, what is your observation about? And he told me, in fact, he opened my eyes to another dimension of that message. Mm -hmm. I never. Mm -hmm. So okay. sometimes, uh, you, uh, on your back, they don't know, people don't correct me. There are times that my wife will tell me that, um, um, it's too much in your message. You are yeah. doing, um, um. Hey, you know, wow. you know when, when, I, when my brain is booting in Yoruba exactly. language, and my tongue, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm speaking in another that's, language. That's so, um, um, so she told me that, reduce it. So at times I ask, I say, in fact, you don't even say, um, oh, today at all. It was wonderful. Wow. That was I. So sometimes so it get better. It get better when we are open. To when connection. we are open, we should make, we should create an an atmosphere where we can also receive feedback if we are not being corrected. If we want, like you said, if we want to be improved, truly indeed. That's the truth. Truly indeed. No, you have to give room for. Sometimes. That's the essence of a coach. Yes, sir. And that's the essence of a teacher. Mm. You know, I have children in school. They give them maybe assignment yeah. or classwork. And then when they mark, when the teacher marks, mm. you got this, you got this, you didn't get this. So we always ask the children, did the teacher do correction for you? Mm. Because it's important. Yeah. Out of 10 questions, maybe you got seven. The three you never got the teacher stay on the board mm. and do the correction because if there's no correction you will repeat the mistake again Definitely. and it may be expensive mm. yeah this one is just class one <laughs> it's not the exam mm. to repeat that mistake in the exam is costly it's costly so repeat the mistake in an external exam is more costly. It's more costly. Mm. So repeat that mistake in an exam that can take you to university is costly. It's costly. You'll be like, ah! And I've seen this thing before. It's painful to know that this question, I've seen it before, but I didn't know it and I was not corrected. In fact. It's painful. Very, very. What you said, I listened to one of uh, that the Kumi message, old, old message like that, why leaders fail. And the emphasis he made in that message was that leaders kept repeating the same mistake mm -hmm. they, they, they made mm -hmm. while they were, they were in childhood. That's right. Gradually, that same anger uh -huh. that he refused to, to, deal, call, to with deal with I mean, in his childhood grows with, grows with him. Then maybe because of that same anger, he was expelled in secondary school. Mm -hmm. But he still don't see reason to still deal with the same issue of anger. Maybe one day in the higher institution, <laughs> that same anger uh, re re resulted to expulsion from school. And we now discover that that same anger, that he said that, that those things, like you said now, that the error has, has been there. It has always been, been there, there. But not corrected. But not corrected. Okay, Pastor, thank you so much, uh, viewers out there. What a way to go on a short break now. Mistakes have always been there. And then we need to respond properly so that it does not disgrace us when we are up mm. there. Please don't go away. We'll, we'll come back and then we'll step forward this conversation. God bless you.
Aminatu, the legendary queen of Zazao, is best known to historians as Queen Amina of Zaria, an old walled town and capital of the Hausa state of Zazao. Amina was a great warrior and the first woman to rule the ancient kingdom of Zazao. The 34 years as queen witnessed an unprecedented expansion of Zazao by conquests. Queen Amina of Zaria belongs to the class of Amazons by the might of her army and her strings of conquests. She opened Zaria to transborder trade and was said to have initiated Kola knot cultivation in the ancient kingdom. The Hausa Muslim figure was born in 1533 and died in 1610 at the age of 77 years. Folklores remember Aminatu, the queen of Zazao, as a brave, smart and talented leader, whose giant statue now adorns the National Arts Theatre in Lagos, Nigeria, while many educational institutions bear her name. Western Spring Television identifies Queen Amina as a watershed character in history. Up to 75% of human infectious diseases originate in animals. And as more bushmeat is brought into our cities, the risk of human infectious disease outbreaks increases. Ebola, monkeypox, Lassa fever, yellow fever, and even COVID-19 may have been transmitted in this way. Illegal bushmeat trade not only endangers our wildlife, but affects our health and may damage our economy. So please, say no to illegal bushmeat. Keep them wild and keep us safe. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was an educationist and advocate of women's rights. She was recognized for her vitriolic comments against colonial policy of taxation as it affected the Nigerian women. Bere, as fondly addressed by her women followers, Fumilayo championed the initiation of universal adult suffrage, which gave an unprecedented leeway for women to contest elective offices and power to exercise voting rights. Married to a foremost educationist and teacher, Israel Oladoto Ransom Kuti, the first president of Nigeria Union of Teachers, Fumilayo Ransom Kuti was the mother of children who inherited her spirit of activism. Olufela and Be Ololari, the former, a renowned musical legend. She was the first female student of Abe Okuta Grammar School and the first female to own and drive a car in Nigeria. The award recipient of Member of Order of Nigeria MON and Lenin Peace Prize was born 25th October 1900 and was killed on 13th April 1978 by rampaging road soldiers in Lagos. Western Spring Television identifies Fumilayo Ransom Kuti as a watershed character in history. Praise God. Viewers, welcome back from that short break. This is Issues in Christendom. Today, we've been looking at the topic, the principles of correction. And it's been wonderful having this beautiful conversation with Pastor Uluwa Shiu Ade Uh We departed 
earlier on on that note mm. that we need to learn to receive correction. correction. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Very, very important. Pastor, yes, sir. what is the danger of rejecting correction? Wow. You know, you, you were talking about a message yes, preached by Baba Komoyi. Yeah. Why leaders fail. Mm. Leaders fail because there is a bad habit mm. from childhood yeah. that they indulged. Mm. For example, anger. anger. Mm. Some people have issue with anger. Mm. And somebody at some point comes and says, Hey, what's mm. in you? The way you're getting angry like this is not nice so, as a child. The anger was the reason you were expelled in secondary school. Let me share this a personal story. Okay. I was in primary six. And uh, I had my, my primary school somewhere else, actually outside Nigeria. Okay. My primary six was in Nigeria so that I can, I can do common entrance mm. and enter secondary school here. So I was new in that school, and um, they were mocking me. So there was one day I got so hungry with one of the girls that was mocking me. Mm. It was a Friday afternoon after school. I beat the girl until blood came out of her body. Mm. You know, I had a vest under my uniform where I put Steve there. And then my, the artist drew a man that is like this. You know, that was, I mean, no good. You know, Moburuga, <laughs> that kind of a thing like that. Mm. The girl tore that T-shirt, but thank God she didn't tear my uniform. Because I wouldn't want them to know at home that I had a fight in school. It was very rowdy. I beat the girl until blocking came out of her body. Mm. Monday, the authorities gathered us. And I was flat on the bench. And beat, and beat anger out of me. You know, Pastor? Yes, sir. That day, I took a decision not to fight again. Mm. I took a decision not to lay my hands on a girl. I took a decision mm. not to have a public fight. And I can tell you, since that day till today, nothing. Mm. I was not even born again. You know, but they beat me. The, how dare you beat a lady? How dare you beat somebody until blood came out? Mm. Were you attempting to kill? Wow. You know, I, you know, I was new and my Yoruba was not too, was not too not small. Too so they were mocking me. I still remember the name of the girl. I still remember the name of the girl. As I'm talking to you, I still remember that graphic. It was, that, that was an encounter. It was an encounter. It was an encounter. <laughs> But you see, wow. I took that correction. Mm. If I didn't take that correction, mm. I can grow with that anger. Yeah. And, and you see, they said anger mm. is one letter short of danger. We put D behind anger, it becomes danger. danger. So it means that devil, when you are angry, small, 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 when the D, devil, will join the anger. And then when devil joins the anger, mm. you can kill. Uh, not planning to kill. But, yes, no. Have you not yeah. heard of husband and wife just in anger? Push the spouse away and the person dies. Mm. So it's important for mm. us to ensure that when we have bad habits in our lives, blessed are you when there are people within your cycle mm. that can look into your face and say, bro, this thing you are mm. doing, it's, it's not correct. Yeah. They are helping your future. They are helping your life. They are putting on you beautiful garments. If you reject that, then you are on your way to self-destruction. Mm. Well, in fact, you are, you are absolutely right. Uh, I think there are several uh, danger in refusing or rejecting correction. Mm. Like you've mentioned, uh, it's it's released to the end result is destruction. 
Mm. But before that destruction happens, mm. shame always follows such mm. destruction. You no. Know? And when someone now becomes an object of mockery, that people begin to look down, you lose your honor, you lose your wow. dignity. Wow. And just because of simple tips mm. that people have called your attention and one rejected. Mm. So it is very, very imperative. Mm. And like in fact, like we emphasized on her the other time, that um, even the message, get the message. Mm. Message in the correction, get it mm. and apply it to your life. Mm. Irrespective of who is bringing the message, mm -hmm. because at times the person may be, may be your child. The messenger the, the <laughs> may be unworthy. May be unworthy. Thank you, sir. May be unworthy. May be the messenger may, be may not have the moral rights. I, thank you, sir. May not even have the authority. Mm -hmm. But mm, yeah. we can take the message yes. and forgo the messenger. And forgo the messenger. And forgo, you no. Know? At times, no, if someone is, in fact, where there are several people like that in the scripture. You no, know, uh, you cited Solomon, yeah, his children, mm. you cited Cain, mm. you started Adam and Eve, even even King Saul. King Saul, yes, sir, was King defensive, Saul was defensive, uh, was explaining why he did what he did uh, instead of admitting his, his error. error, unlike David, mm. David admitted immediately. Confessed his sin, repented, and then he was restored. Mm, mm. Till tomorrow, mm, yes, sir. David is celebrated, a man after God's, God's heart. heart. The star of David is still on the flag, flag. of the nation of Israel till tomorrow. A murderer, but he did to a correction. A murderer who responded to correction, to correction. is better mm. than a saint. Mm. Is not Who doesn't yield? Like somebody said. Well, let me say that one. <laughs> <laughs> there is hope mm. of a repentant mother. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Than an arrogant celebrate. Ce yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you are absolutely right. An arrogant celebrate. Is hopeless. Is hopeless and helpless. <laughs> a repentant mother has hope. Has hope. Because you know, there's a scripture in the book of Psalm that says, God does not deal with us according to our sins. Yeah. For He knows our, our limitation. Yeah. He knows that we knows are He knows we are human. Mm. He knows we will make mistakes. Mm. But He does not judge us based on At that. All. What judges us is our refuser. Mm. Of correction. Yes, sir. Is, uh, is our of correction? Yes, sir. And another thing is that the person that wants to correct is something called constructive criticism. Mm. It's also important. Mm. At times, people will have accepted correction, mm. but mm. that does not give ground for anyone to reject correction. Mm. No matter how bad, how severe it is, mm. get the message, mm -hmm. or you may the messenger you may have had done. Mm -hmm. Don't throw the water and the baby away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, but I'm um, just this is a counsel for people who want to cancel, who want to correct. Mm. Is that please do it constructively, mm. like you said the other time, mm. Apostle Paul in all of his mm. criticism, mm. in all of his mm -hmm. correction, mm -hmm. in all of his epistles. Mm -hmm. First thing first, he will greet them, he mm -hmm. will applaud them for that which they are doing, which is right. Mm. Even our Lord self in the book of mm. uh, Revelation, mm. letters to the churches, mm. he mm -hmm. applauded them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not that he just went straight and started to lambast mm. them. Mm. There will be they, at least there will be something that the person has done right. Mm. Mm. So when you want to correct someone, start with the good side of the person, not the by side. Even even in the book of Revelation. Yes, sir. The seven letters yes, sir. to the seven churches. Yeah. It begins with applaud. Mm. I know I know that works. That works. But I have this against, against you. you. Mm. And it gives them an opportunity for repentance. For repentance. And promises those who respond a reward. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. by inference, those who do not respond to the correction. Mm. There's also a reward. A reward. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reward 
to the righteous as a reward to the wicked. To the wicked. Yeah. Both shall be rewarded. Mm, yeah. So it is important, highly important, important. that in correcting, we do it in love, mm. in, humility, in humility, recognizing that we are also human. Mm, yeah. We could make similar mistakes mistake tomorrow. Mistake. Yeah. And recognizing that, you know what pains me sometimes is when somebody has done a mistake in the past. Mm. and grace was given and that same person refused to give grace to somebody else who does similar mistake mm. it breaks me that you lost the essence of that correction mm. yeah why wouldn't you give grace you should you should minister to people from the comfort you have received, you have received. yeah give grace mm. we're well, not saying you should not correct but give yeah. grace yeah Give grace. So, in correcting, love, humility, empathy. Empathy. With gentleness. Yep. With kindness. With the goal of restoration. The, yeah, exactly. And to the one who is being corrected, mm. receive it. Yes. In fact, yes, go as, on. as human being, one of the things on the issue of the one being corrected, mm. it is, should I say, it, the Adamic fallen nature in mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm don't want to be corrected. Exactly. Always it's painful. Only, uh, thank you, sir. On our ego. <laughs> no. It's painful. Uh, how, how can he be telling me, how can he be telling me that? We are friends, though. We are colleagues. How can he be telling me that? How, no matter how soft, how gentle, some people will still not take correction yes, sir. easily. Mm, because of ego. They can fight you dirty. Mm. They can go for your mother's life. <laughs> In fact, in fact, what you said, my pastor shared a testimony of someone who came to church and is not familiar with the person. The person mm -hmm. gave a huge number of money. And it was like, ah, where do you get the money from? Please, <laughs> we, we don't need this. And the person got offended. And I, I think maybe the person stopped coming to church. But thank God that he, did, he has a good friend. He shared the scenario with the friend. And the person told him, that, ah, you better be happy. So you have a pastor that can ask you where you... I can check it. I can check you mm. where you get the money from. Mm. The difference is some people, they don't mind you. It's even after your soul, you better cherish him. That was why the man came, came back. And wow, wow. So, so how many a times... Beautiful. And the, yes. In fact, they developed a smoother, not knowing that he was even the son of a pastor. That person wow. was the son of a pastor. Wow, wow. So why am I saying this is that at times when... We should deal with her. We should, if, if possible, let ego die totally. When, mm. in fact, in our life. Because mm. when you have been corrected, mm. ah, anybody can come. And I'm sorry, people may struggle. People may find it difficult in the process of the, of the correction. But mm. you as a man, if you have the spirit of God mm. in you, mm. and you know that what this person is calling your attention to is right, mm. then who are you? not to accept the correction. So mm. please, we, uh, the person being corrected, please check out. Don't allow he go. To, because the more you do that, the more you shut people away. The people you shut away today, I'm telling you, even when they see you falling tomorrow, they may, not everybody, will come back to tell you. They will tell you that the one we told him the other time, he started lambasting us. He did mm. not mm. show mm. remorse. He mm. did not even feel guilty as if mm. He thought what he was doing was, so people we we must be intentional yeah um particularly for those in leadership mm, yes sir to have certain accountable relationship in our lives yes sir that can speak into our life i learned of um, billy graham mm. has some friends that stay in the congregation when he's ministering to hear what people say about him mm. and they feed him back in the hotel room you know sometimes as a preacher not because you intend to lie you could give a false figure in sharing mm. testimonies mm. Uh, sometimes you want to share a testimony but there are two of them on your mind at the same time so you take a party and the party and then it becomes like one testimony and it's mm. not so. So those who have listened to your testimony, 
in another city of the same testimony, we'll be like, ah, the man is lying. Mm -hmm. So this man started helping Billy to be accurate in his mm. sharing on the pulpit. That's why he was such a distinguished American preacher mm. with impeccable character. Wow. No stain whatsoever. Cutsy. God's mm. grace and accountable Accountable. relationships in his life. So as leaders, as we are growing up, we need such people. Because the truth is, the people who met you as a great man can correct you. Mm, yes, sir. But there are yeah. people who knew when you were struggling. Yeah. I said, I will come here, come here, come here, come here. We know you're a great man, no? But we know your story. Yes, yes. There are also those who want to mock you and just talk you down. But there are genuine people yeah. who are like, ah, all right. Ah, you forgot where you're coming from. Mm. Don't go on that path. It will destroy mm. you. Mm. See the way you are handling your wife. She stood by you when mm. you were broke. And now you are a big man. And then you are just toiling with this woman's emotion. Mm. Mm. And friend, I am not with you on this. These are good friends. Yeah. Who, yeah. Want, who mean well for you. Yeah. And you cannot be maltreating this madam that stood by you, stood with you when you had one trouser. <laughs> Now you have a company and you can wear, if possible, 1,000 trousers in one day and mm. then you have lost your brain, you have lost mm. your sanity. Mm. These are good people. Blessed are you when you have such people in your life mm. that can look straight into your eyes and tell you the truth mm. without missing word, but it's done in love. In love, yeah. Not to demean you, not to destroy you, not to condemn you, not to pull you down, mm -hmm. but rather to help you to stand. Yeah. Pastor, what are the benefits of accepting correction? In fact, like we said the other time, that it will just be as if you are the most perfect being on earth. Mm. When people look at you, they see accurate. Accuracy. Mm, accuracy. They see accuracy, they yeah. see perfection, they professionalism. see they see professionalism, they see improvement, whatever mm -hmm. good they see. see excellence. Like, excellence. Thank you. Excellent. Mm. Now, and when people see that, no, they don't know where you are coming. They don't know wow. it as a You've result. You've gone through cut and so. Exactly. Exactly. It's a result of accumulated uh, correction that one has yielded to. So, and of course, uh, it's also beyond that. It helps us to make everyone at the end. Mm. Because in this journey of it, there will always be some one thing or the other. Mm. And the more you correct yourself, the more you are sharpened, the more you are prepared for the mm -hmm. rapture or mm -hmm. for heaven's mm -hmm. sake. Yeah. So, but if you think that, oh, you've known her, no one can correct you, mm. or this and that, at mm -hmm. least you are now an elder, mm -hmm. or maybe you are now an archbishop, mm -hmm. and ah, no, no, it's very dangerous. So, mm. the benefit is so numerous. Mm. It's so numerous because it makes you friendly, mm. and even it makes you even, acceptable. It, yeah, it makes you enjoy favor. Thank you, sir. When you when you are open to correction, they be like, ah, mm. they accept correction. Mm. You you enjoy favor. Nobody nobody cares about your mistake anymore because you've made adjustment, mm. and yes. because of that adjustment, yes. you become favored. Mm. Mm. You are favored. Yes, sir. Like the case of David, we mentioned his error, his mistake was blotted out. Today, to, who cares? Okay, uh -huh, we just okay. mentioned it in person. Yeah. We will still come back to the fact that he's a man after God's heart. He's a man after God's heart. Yeah, definitely. Because mm. he accepted yes, sir. correction. Correction. There's a scripture in the book of Proverbs that says that anyone who rejects correction mm. will miss the road. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, my see on that. That, 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 that's, no it. One no. that's it. That's mm. it. That's mm, it. Mm, mm. Uh, it's a beautiful garment on mm. you when you have the character of accepting correction. Mm. It's an ornament, ornament of yeah. beauty yeah. on your neck. So for a woman who likes the all the makeup, the real makeup that makes you beautiful is this, this character. character. It will endear your husband's heart to you. Mm. Okay, we need to go right now, Pastor. Because wow. our time is really fast spent. 
let me take your parting message. Uh, please, the principles of correction applies everywhere. Mm -hmm. In the church, mm -hmm. at home, in the at offices. Mm -hmm. Please, at a point, you can be the one correcting, and at mm -hmm. a point, you can be the one being corrected. That's true. Whichever we will find ourselves, let us do with honesty, mm -hmm. let us do it with humility, mm -hmm. and let us do it with the mind and love of Christ. Mm -hmm. And by so doing, every one of us will become a perfect, mm -hmm. equipped mm -hmm. vessel, either in the secular setting, mm -hmm. in a profession, in a career, mm -hmm. or in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. Wow, what a powerful, powerful um, pattern message from Pastor Ade Dotson Uluwashim. Our viewers, that's all for today. But please, let's take this word and work with it. Knowledge is useless without application. Knowledge is useless when wisdom is not there. And wisdom is application of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Let's apply this in our lives. We become perfect, excellent, professional, great. You become on popular demand. Mm. You become a man sought after because you responded to correction. You become a better and a higher version of who you were before for accepting correction. Let's go on this path and the Lord will bless us, Amen. keep us, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for being a part of today's conversation. Next week, Sunday, will be another time again. We will come your way for another wonderful topic on your program, Issues in Christian Love. On this same station, Western Spring Television, Channel 190, on Star Times. I remain yours, Pastor Steve Akin Wumi. God bless you, and bye for now.